What's crapping in fun seekers? After an epic battle unloading this thing off of my car trailer, that's when I finally decided to do the smart thing and do a little research on this car. Now I feel like I need to take the morning after pill, wash my mouth off of soap, because this is one of the most hated cars that's ever been built, I think. My name's Jason, and this is Grease Belly Garage. Come on! We'll just start under the hood because I've had this battery deep frying on this uh, old fashioned, old timey Craftsman battery charger for a while. I want to see if it'll finally start. I have checked my battery terminals and all that stuff. They're not the greatest, but they're not horrible. But the date code on the side of the battery is 2020, so it's about four years old now. I have a feeling this car's got a lot more gremlins than I had bargained for. All right, this is the Mitsubishi 3-liter V6 that was popular in the minivans and some of the LeBarons and the Daytonas of that era. So we got a Mitsubishi engine, an Italian car, and a Chrysler Bones skeleton. So it really is a multi-international disaster. I'm gonna take this battery charger off and let this thing get up to operating temperature, see if I can't see exactly where that coolant leak's coming from. In the meantime, while it's warming up, we'll do a little better look at the interior here. And got some uh, dye coming off this leather. Got a little hole right here. This is a release for the gas cap because I kept thinking it would do the trunk, but every time I'd pull it, the gas cap would pop open. The AC fan going, I don't remember leaving that on though, but it's on. The radio may have some life in it nifty seat controls here it took me a little while to figure these out but this goes this moves the back of this cushion up and down this of course goes back and forth and I don't know what side to side does probably nothing this one here does the front half of the bottom cushion up and down and because I'm chubby I've got to have them all the way down and all the way back or factory service manual I don't know how this opens but because I forgot. I guess you just get, oh, you just pull it as hard as you can, and there's nothing in there. Something's going on with that. The passenger seat does not work, by the way. Here's the AC. The, it only blows out of the floor and the defrost, so that tells me there's a vacuum leak somewhere under the hood, probably. Okay, I turned, or I closed the door so the annoying key chime would go away. And the windows work, thank goodness. And that's a little light for the alarm system. It's got a key fob for some kind of an alarm system. Probably shouldn't push that, huh? But I did. It doesn't do anything. Some glove box stuff. Okay, sometimes the truth comes out in the paperwork you find in the glove box. This is a receipt for tires dated January 25th, 2019, and the mileage was 5304.8. Well, guess what? Five years later, exactly, the mileage is still 5304.8, so the odometer does not work. Max Tour all season. That was a really quality item, and especially out the door, $128.40. Now that's, uh, and now they're five years old, so they're probably worth, I don't know, 10 or $12, I guess. I suppose the car was bought at this place, White Plains Chrysler Plymouth in White Plains, New York. You can hear a little bit of a lifter slap out there now that it's been running for a while. And we're still not overheating. Got this high quality plastic shifter. I think this car has what's called the Ultra Drive Automatic. It's like an A504. And they were known to be troublesome, I think, for a while. This is some kind of a compartment thing here. I guess, yeah, it flips like that. But the cover was gone. But fortunately, I found this. And this is actually what goes right here. So, probably have to glue that back together somehow. Now, you can tell this whole thing in here just screams quality. I mean, look at the... 
everything's tufted and gathered and all that stuff. And a couple of little pouches on the back. Look, you guys are just gonna ignore that key chime, okay? I can't, I'm too fat to get in here with no. Oh, I believe that is an umbrella. They're supposed to be like a tool kit or a first aid kit maybe. Push that through. Well, this is high quality Italian stuff here. Unwrap this. There's even a little sticker here, made in Italy. This is an Italian umbrella, guys. This is a definitely an Italian umbrella. Out. This is the official Maserati umbrella. Pretty cool, huh? This might be the coolest parts of this car so far. Got it all working again. Oh. Let's not celebrate just yet, guys. The Italian word for umbrella is dumbrella. It worked for a minute. That's all we're going to get out of it. This reminds me of something I hate. This is a sketchy quality umbrella. I can't confirm that the radio works. It's just all of our stations here in Florida suck anymore. We gotta do this, release this latch. There's one on the other side. And they never bothered to anchor the thing in the back, so it's ready to flop right off of here now. Oh, well, I can't find my movie blanket. I don't know what I did with that. So I got a couple of old crappy t shirts. Put here in this lustrous paint job. that one in your pocket guys. I'm not gonna put this tunnel cover back down until I oil that latch over there. Okay here's the soft top. It's all torn up from the hurricane as well. The headliner is okay. Not ought to keep most of the water out. Uh, this stupid thing won't stay up and this stupid thing won't cooperate. I'm gonna lubricate everything on this car because I don't know the history of any of that. Okay, we'll go ahead and lubricate all that. I wonder... Sounds really nice and loud now. I think I'll just skip this whole soft top experience. So here's the tonneau switch. Now it's working real good. Hard top's going right back on this thing, but not right away. I'm gonna go around and lubricate everything else first. We have these bugs in Florida called no CMs that are pretty miserable too. That I use a skin stations cutter stuff on my legs because it eats up your legs. They're like little flying chainsaws. Spin on the arms, neck. Make sure you inhale plenty of this. It's good for you. A little on the TBG and inside the old baseball cap. That ought to keep them at bay for a little while. I'm going to do my full strength leather cleaner treatment on these if I can get the sprayer to cooperate this time. And what I do is I just, in other videos you've probably seen this if you watch my channel, I just go ahead and soak all this down with straight leather cleaner and since this car is leather everywhere I guess I'll spray it everywhere it's that Italian I don't know if this is 
Corinthian leather or not. It's some kind of Italian leather, I guess. Got a nice perforated steering wheel. Slip that down too. And the entire dash. This is what you call a quick detail. It's got a braking system that looks like the old Grand National Power Master system. With this part here being an accumulator. Yeah, it's got an electric motor. That's a Power Master setup, basically. Here's a transmission fluid. It's uh, a deep burgundy color. It smells like it's pretty burned up. Probably ought to try out some of the other accessories, too. Let me put some water in it first and see if it'll restart. All right, she should be getting pretty warm now. I think the problem with these engines, other than the fact that they're weak and antiquated, I think there's a coolant crossover pipe somewhere that leaks like a sieve. And I can't get down there and see it, but it's some kind of a doodad pipe that runs across the back or under the intake manifold. Okay, found my found my new endoscope in the Toyota pickup. This is particular brand is called De Depth, 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 Depth Tech. I was thinking about my friends for a second there. I'm gonna unbox this thing right here on the spot and test it out. And if it works good, I'll put a Amazon link in the comments. I don't care if you buy one or not, but at least you'll know which one to get. And then, if you buy one with that link, I would make a very, very, very minuscule dimension or a commission. Seems like I can still hear the coolant coming out somewhere. This is why I wish I had a third arm or something. Okay, I got the endoscope and this distributor end underneath the intake manifold and kind of aimed it straight down. And in this lower left corner, it's going to be really hard to tell on here, but there's a Massive puddle of water there. So there's some kind of a pipe underneath the lower intake and I think it connects the coolant from This side over to that side on that side. I don't know what's over there, but the um, Thermostat and the water outlet are over here. So it's got some crossover Maybe for the heater hoses or something I suspect because I believe there's heater hoses. There's one right there, and I don't know where. I guess maybe some coolant maybe goes through the throttle body. A lot of times they have a, their own cooling system. But I'm not going to be able to see this too well until I tear it apart. But first, I'm going to drive this down the road and see if the transmission even shifts. This thing has a very, very clear screen and a very, very long lead. It's much nicer than the one I used to have. And I think it'll save the pictures and do brightness levels and all kinds of stuff. Depth Tech DS300. So far, so good. Screen quality is way better than the one I used to have. Good enough for a test. Wipe some of this slimy mess off of here. Oh, you stupid thing. Really? Grease Belly Garage is not a professional production. Sorry about the key buzzer. We're just going to take this for a little quickie ride. Quick trip to the end of the street and back. A little delay going in the drive. Let's see if the mirrors work. Oh yeah. Sound like a meat grinder, but they work. And the brakes work. How you doing? I like your dog. Oh, he's a good boy. Oh, yeah, he looks like a really good boy. He's the sweetest dog ever had, but in the field, he's all business. I got to drive this to the end of the street and back before all my coolant leaks yeah. out. Thank you, sir. Have it's a good just night. Water, though, right? Yeah, it's just water, yeah. 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 The dog won't drink it. Take care. Okay. Can't see nothing through the windshield. Some idiot sprayed leather cleaner all over it, it looks like. 
Power steering works pretty good, actually. Wow. You know, I understand the appeal to these cars. I do. You know, there's like a club for these things on Facebook. I also got a buddy that's on YouTube. Rainbow Man Garage. He's in Missouri, I think. And he likes these Chrysler... Am I blinding you guys with a sun? He likes these Chrysler front-wheel drive vehicles. And he actually recently bought one of these, and then this one popped up a couple days later. Transmission's good. It's really good, actually. All right, I think it's worth probably putting a few bucks into this car. Not doing too crazy. It's not worth much, buddy. See ya. What do you know about these? Nothing. This is a Chrysler TC by Maserati. And I didn't win the lottery. Don't go thinking I got a bunch of money, Carol, because I, I don't. Hand built body in Milan, Italy. Chrysler 3. Point, or Mitsubishi Chrysler 3.0 V6. And this is a Chrysler LeBaron frame, basically, a K car frame. Where is it? 1991. Hey, this has got an Infinity 10 speaker stereo, Carol. That was back when that was a big deal, and a five band graphic equalizer, too. And it's got its own umbrella a Maserati made in Italy umbrella. And that brings us to the worst part of the night where I have to call Mrs. GBG to help me put the, cut, or the uh, top back on this thing. Well, you got it off by yourself. Why can't you put it back on by yourself? Because I'm a klutz, that's why. Okay, for the first time ever, I heard the electric cooling fan kick on, so that's a really good sign. I was worried that that didn't work at all. That gives me hope that the air conditioning may be rechargeable and functional. The gauges seem to work. I'm pretty sure the speedometer worked. But the odometer unfortunately doesn't so this is an exempt odometer title on this car the temperature gauge is doing well <laughs> i smell brake something or other asbestos powder i assume and here's how the wipers work they just kick up the driver's side like that you know so i'm thinking what happened is a tree limb or something may have damaged the windshield above that wiper and then somebody may have tried to turn the wiper on while the tree limb was still there and broke the linkage but I might take a look at that charge up the AC the radio works like I said I can't play it because I'll get copyrighted speakers are all kind of blown we got some lighted mirrors here there we go the early versions of this car had a four spoke Maserati steering wheel that was more attractive let's see if all the lights work okay there's the blinker Backup lights, another tail light, blinker, front marker, and the corner marker there is burned out. Headlights work. And I think they're supposed to be. My friend Rainbow Man said there might be a protector on here, but I don't see one. It's a glass bulb, though. That's why it's not all yellow. Coolant's leaking out from that area right there, back right corner of the engine. Decided to keep the Toyota truck. I'm going to put all my tools in it and use it for my rentals, because if I don't, I'm gonna ruin that Durango and get the stink eye forever from the wife. Walking over the car. Ah. Get grip of it. Set it down if you need to. There. There, and there, and there, and there. Just like that. All right, thank you, Mrs. GBG. You're welcome. That's why we're a team, baby. That's gonna do it for the 1991 Chrysler TC and my pride for now. I think I'm just gonna zip this over to Jaime, let him fix the coolant problem, and I'll fix the air conditioning. And I'm gonna send this car down the road. It's a pretty good car. If you're a TC fanatic, this might be the one for you. I just wanted to check it out. I've never had one, and now I can say I've had an Italian car. I appreciate you guys watching. Leave me a comment down below. Give me a thumbs up. And I will most certainly catch you on the flip side. See you next time. Right. Tune in again. Thanks for watching. Yep.